What's going on, y'all? And I got a lot of, after the last video of my tutorial on how to do my move, uh, I got a lot of different requests on how to do more tutorials, because y'all seem to like that, which I'm very glad that y'all like that. So today I'm going to teach y'all how to do a post-dunk and post-euro. Now, I'm not great with post-euro, I'm good with post-dunk, but I got a lot of people requesting because I do this in-game a lot. So, first you want to do is learn how to use post most efficiently. I'm going to leave Kukos' video again because that man carries when it comes to post. He's so good at it. So, but your body needs to be, the ball needs to be directly away from your defender. So, if I was running this way and I'm posting, I want my defender to be right here where my cursor is. So, that my arm right here will go right into the defender and will push them back further. If I did this, then I wouldn't be, and my defender was right here while I'm spamming post, it wouldn't do much. It might do something, but it would be very minimal. Because m the ball is right there. So, and your character uses your offhand in order to use the post mechanism. So, it all really depends on how, which angle you're at. So, if I was running right here, and I did this. I'd be spamming it this way, and then i get a block probably around here, and they'd get pushed back. If they're blocked right here, they get pushed back to like right here. And then I've got a wide open lane, and it's a free dunk. So, that's how people, that's how comp players use um, post. But um, I'm going to show a clip of me doing it in-game, and then I'll do it with post Hero as well. So as y'all could see right there, I used my offhand in order to block it. That guy obviously wasn't the best. He was like 40 and 10. But he still understood how to be on someone. So this might not work best for players who are more advanced, like a comp player. Like if you're playing a global, I doubt this will work very well because they'll probably just feel it. Or a high level comp player, like someone who's an OT or LT or SP, something like that. An SP player definitely is not going to fall for a... When you're getting around them, they're going to try and switch around to you to your ball to the where your hand is so they can get a steal they're not gonna follow you um behind because they know that's a free layup so they're gonna try and when if i go in and i turn like this they're gonna be turning right here now a normal player would follow up and go right here so they're behind me now a more co a competitive player would probably go around here get to where the ball is and steal it that's mainly how stealing works you want to get in front of the ball and be able to um grab it so but now for post euro. Post euro is way different than, well, not way different, but it's different than any other euro step. There's multiple different post euros you can do. You can do a right before the post and then euro, or you can post while using a euro. That didn't work very well. But you can also do a post hook with a euro, which also blocks your defender. So. There's multiple ways to do it. I would say the post uh, euro hook is definitely the best way because you create more space from your defender and you're still using the block and the hook also has a, de has a decrease in percentage coverage. So if I did a hook right here, that's not a hook. But if I did a hook, my, my arm, my offhand arm, would block the defender so they're, so they're getting pushed back. So like this, if I did that, that's not how you do it. <laughs> If I did that, then my my arm is up right here, so my defender is getting pushed off, and I'm getting a more open shot because my right arm is throwing up the ball. So, and it's going over the defender, and obviously this won't like guarantee a zero percent, but it definitely lowers the coverage if you were to go for like a step back, because then they've got way more time to react, and it's much easier to defend. But also, again, I'm not saying that this works every time; it just works for me, and for some other players who aren't as skilled so post is definitely one of, is definitely the only one of the only things that make this game competitive without post everyone complains about post but without it it's almost impossible to win any games if like say a say cuckoo's here i'm gonna use cuckoo's example if he didn't have post he he wouldn't be global i can promise you that he's literally said it himself um if he's watching this say it in the comments please i need proof so <laughs> um but that's pretty much all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I'm going to do more of these. If you guys like it, then I'll do more. So, um, yeah, we're on the road to 1K subs, which is pretty nice. We just hit 250 last night, so I appreciate all of you. So, I'm going to make a video for that. But, hope you guys all have a 
great day or night. Uh, subscribe and join the Discord for giveaways, you know, games, stuff like that. And the Hide and Seek, which is coming out this weekend. Oh, wait, did I say that?